Yo, what is going on, clan? I'm going to show you how to get all of the collectibles on Zepho, so that way we can get this 100% explored on the map. Now, this guide is probably one of the longer guides on YouTube, but that being said, I don't do any jump cuts or anything like that, so that way you know exactly where we're at and exactly where we're getting that collectible from. So right at the beginning, we're going to be in the derelict hangar. You go right to the left of the airship and you'll get that chest there. And then we can actually go inside the hangar itself. Now if you run towards the back of the hangar, there's going to be another chest that we can collect. Hey, BD. Just I'm going to do this you? in the best possible order that I can. Yes. That way Stick it's done look. efficiently, it's done quick. And uh, we can just get these knocked out. This is the biggest planet in the game by far. Um, because the rest of them are much shorter and, uh, yeah, as you can see, the video is an hour long. So I do apologize for that, guys, but I do hope that this guide helps you. So just bear with me through it and let's get this shit done. Alright, so we're going to cross this bridge here and we're going to hang left and just keep going up kind of past this waterfall. And then you'll see another waterfall. Now, on the actual right side of the waterfall... There's going to be this little kind of path here. We're just going to go through here and it gets a bit dark in here. So I'm going to whip out my saber and kind of show you where we're going. We're going up this little rock here and jumping onto another platform that actually has a force echo for us. So this guide will show you some seeds, force echoes, the chests, data logs, things like that. That way we can get you 100% map exploration. So we'll go back up this um, rock here, and you can see there's a gold chest up there. Double jump, and go ahead and grab that chest. Now this reminds me, if you're watching this video and you haven't unlocked the double jump, play the story until you've gotten double jump. Once you've actually unlocked double jump, that's when you're able to get all the collectibles in the other planets. You must have double jump, because that would unlock everything else that goes with it as well. So as you can see, we got the gold chest. That's another stim canister upgrade for us and a secret. Now from the chest, we'll just make our way back out towards the waterfall where we originally entered. Platform our way back past this waterfall and go up this cliff here. Do a wall run on top of the hangar. We'll go down this little stairway here. We're on our way to grab another chest. You'll see a couple stormtroopers here. Um, I've killed everything in the video as well just to make this nice and easy for you. Um, and here we go up on this building will be another chest. Well, I killed mostly everything. There was a few uh, surprise ones, but I edited that out for you guys as well just so I don't waste your time. Okay, after you've grabbed that chest, We'll go ahead and wake, make our way up this uh, cliff here. You'll go past this sort of spinning... I, I forgot what they're called. I'm just going to be honest with you now. Yeah, slow it down. Go ahead and jump over. And on the side of this building here, right away to your left, will be yet another force echo for us to grab. And I do apologize that this guide has taken quite a while. This one was uh, pretty long, as you can see. And uh, did take a lot of effort, but with the other planets, I'll make sure that I get those uploaded as soon as possible for you guys. Also, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the clan. And uh, I hope you're enjoying Star Wars as much as I have. We're just going to run through the abandoned village now. I have timestamps in the description as well, or in the comment section. Let's move, BD. And then that way you can go to specific areas that you need in case you already have some of these. But right in between this, these two buildings here, next to that bridge that you can force push down, will be another force echo. But yeah, if you're new to the clan, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. And let's go ahead and smash out these collectibles together. I basically edited when I've um, grabbed a force hey, echo Let's go. Or, or a chest, so that way you don't have to hear that going on twice. So we'll jump onto one of the rooftops of the village, and we'll find this chest just right here. 
You can see that bridge in the back on the right side is kind of a reference point. Oh, you found something. We got a new outfit. Then we can go ahead and just proceed from that chest. Jump over onto the pipe. We're going to slowly make our way out of the abandoned village as we grab a few of these collectibles. Alright, so up on the top of this rooftop here, there is a chest. As you can see, I missed two stormtroopers, but they're really living by their name here because holy shit, their accuracy is garbage. Except I think that first shot actually hit me. But uh, yeah, so after that chest, we'll just go ahead and continue onwards. Now once you jump down here, there's actually a, sort of like a little nook around the right side of the building. And this is where we'll find another chest that you need Slice to open. Which again, if you've gone through the story and you have grabbed double jump, this wouldn't be a problem at all. Alright, so after you've gotten that chest, we'll go ahead and head back to where we originally dropped down at. And you'll see the platform over there with a meditation circle. Now, originally this room is fairly dark. There is a switch in the back of the room that actually illuminates the room. So, um, I, yeah, highly recommend doing that first so you're not stumbling around through the dark. So we'll go up here. We'll grab this chest here. We're in the turbine facility. I have the name of every area just in that top left, just so you can constantly kind of see which part you're on in the video. We'll go ahead and drop back down, and we'll go to the right this time. And there's going to be a wall run here, so just jump over the gaps, climb onto the pipe. Hopefully you do that a bit with a bit more finesse than I did. And then uh, go over to this sort of crate and just give it a scan okay after that that should have marked it as a um, log there I believe that was a Cordova log and then you can go ahead and we're going to head to the gusty bluffs so we'll go back this way through the actual um, cave itself And I believe it was this way where you originally find the switch, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's that switch right there. So if it's dark, you want to head this way and get that switch activated. Which it shouldn't be if you played through the story. Okay, so you come to these sort of windmill type things. You just want to freeze them, of course, and just jump right over them. Okay, we'll make our way around the mountain here. And uh, th this next one to get to is a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you guys will manage. So what you want to do is go ahead and start climbing these windmills. And just keep freezing them and jumping accordingly. And you see there's a meditation circle up ahead. What you want to do is you want to freeze this one to give you enough height to jump up to that which that was more than enough there and then we'll go ahead and actually climb up this pathway and you'll see that there's more of those windmills so what you want to do is you want to freeze those go ahead and keep climbing give it another freeze when you get to the top freeze the next one go ahead and jump and freeze it again you can only freeze it when you're not technically on it so just jump and you can freeze it again so that way you don't get launched across the map and then you go ahead and go in this little kind of alcove area, these tight little hallways, and you'll find a force echo, which is also a secret, and it is also a life upgrade. Alright, after you grab that force echo, you just want to go ahead and climb the ledge to your right, and walk through the hallway until you get to the other side, and then you'll come out of this little exit where the windmills were. And uh, you just want to jump down, go over to the windmill towards the bottom. Let's go. And then we're going to go ahead and jump to this cliff side. Now there should be a little gust of air here that you can jump the gap with. 
We'll continue running down this sort of cliffside where the ice slide is. Okay, you'll see a rope. You can go ahead and jump to it. And I kind of messed this part up. But uh, you want to use that vent to launch yourself up over to this wall run. Do a wall run and jump over here. And there'll be two wall runs here for you to do. And once you've done that and you get on this ledge, there's actually a ledge up top over here that you can double jump to. And that'll be another force echo. Alright, after you grab the force echo, we can go ahead and leave this little cave up top. And we can go back out through the wall run area. Alright, then you go ahead and see another wall run you can jump over. There'll be a lot of stormtroopers here. Um, I've cleared them out, of course, for the video for you guys. And uh, you'll just head up this way and you'll see a fan. Go ahead and slow it down. And we're going to pick up another Force Echo. Okay, after you grab that Force Echo, we can go ahead and leave. Um, we'll go ahead and freeze the fan again. You want to walk directly across where there was that wall you can break with a force push. And we're going through the weathered monument at the moment. There's a little bit of platforming here, a couple wall climbs, and a couple wall runs. And you just want to slowly make your way to the top. So keep going up, keep going up. It kind of dodges out right here for me for some reason. I think I jumped too high or something. I don't know what that was, but it, it completely screwed me up. So, yeah, just do a wall run, jump up, continue to climb the tower until you get to the pulverizer that you can slow down. Go ahead and slow it down, jump through, and there'll be a chest on the left side that you drop down to. Okay, so that'll be another chest for us. We can just turn around and we will go ahead and exit out this door here. You can jump down the zip line and we're going to go ahead and grab a quick easy chest that's under this wall run. Now you just use slice to open the door and then there's the chest right there. So go ahead and grab that. You have to kind of be looking at it or it doesn't seem to work. So. Um, just so you're wary of that. Okay, that'll be another chest down. Next up, we'll head up this cliffside. We'll go ahead and wall run across. You'll see that meditation circle there. Keep going up the cliff side. There'll be another stormtrooper here that you can just kill. Okay, and what we want to do is actually, you'll kind of see everything around you as a reference point there. You want to climb up this rope. And once you've climbed up this rope, you actually see a chest around this little cliff side here. And go ahead and open the chest. There you go. And we'll actually just jump straight down to our left. So kind of just jump down to our left here. We're going to grab a plant and a chest. Um, we will grab the plant first because he wouldn't let me get the chest. So there you go. That's the royal fluzz. And then we can go ahead and slice open the chest. And open the chest. Okay, after you've grabbed the plant as well as the chest, we'll go back up this little kind of cliffside here and climb the rope. Try to gra grab the rope, I guess. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, and we'll head across this pipe here. You just want to drop down and kind of shimmy your way to the ledge. Okay, once you've made it across, there's going to be an ice slide with a rope. 
go ahead and force pull the rope or jump to the rope and then slide down and make your way around this little kind of mountain we're gonna go through a sort of dark area right now I'll go ahead and whip out my lightsaber just so you can kind of see a little bit more and you can kind of see the path I'm taking past that like center console there and you'll come to an exit and you can see the windmills in the background that'd be a good reference point to yet another chest so we're in the auger pulverizers area of the actual map and there's quite a few chests here as well as a force echo so that, there's that chest you just want to slow down the pulverizer and then keep platforming your way up and we're going for another chest just right here through this sort of uh, rocky mountain area which is pretty much all this planet is um, you want to slow this one down the very first one and there's a little kind of cave on the side of it with a chest inside you just want to slow it down loot the chest and then we can go ahead and backtrack so we'll turn around make sure you freeze that again okay and we'll just make our way across keep freezing it and then freeze this one and wall run up to it. I was hitting the top of the cliff there. Now what you want to do is you'll see this ledge here. You want to slow it down from this angle and then keep slowing it down and you'll make it to a force echo. Now you kind of target whatever one you're going to slow down based off of where you're aiming your camera. So it'll highlight them based off where you're actually aiming. So just try to aim for the one that you want to slow down, of course. And it'll make that part much easier for you. We'll go ahead and backtrack right through again. Freeze them all. Freeze that one. And then we'll wall run and get right back up to where we were at originally. And we'll proceed with the map and get some more collectibles knocked out. You'll run past a meditation circle with two ropes. These two stormtroopers respawned, so I quickly edited that out, and um, we can grab the chest that was right near them. And there's that meditation circle in the background, just so you kind of still have a reference where we're at, because I know it can be easy to get lost, but uh, if you follow this, you'll be able to navigate just fine. So after you get this chest here, we'll go ahead and swing on this rope to get to another kind of slide segment of the map. We're going to the ancient catacombs and you want to grab the next rope, keep going down until you get to the very end of it. Okay, now right here you kind of see where we're at there and what you want to do, just giving you sort of a kind of a look around and you just want to wall run, go across, it'll be the very first wall run and if you see this little wall run panel on the side there. You'll just turn your camera around and you'll find another force echo up on top. So that's just past that first wall run and then you just turn around and you'll see another wall run to get to that force echo. Um, after you've grabbed the force echo, we can go ahead and proceed. So you just run back through and keep going forward until you get to a, another wall run segment. We'll run up this cliff here and it is a bit dark in here as well but you can kind of just navigate through I do pull out my lightsaber to just show you a little bit um, you'll come to a vent with a gust of air being shot up if you use that vent there's actually a chest up here and again I'm not sure what happened there he just sort of fell um, but we'll grab this chest here yep, there you, go. You can use the saber if it's too dark on your screen and, and kind of guide your way through that area. Now, once you've grabbed that chest, we'll go ahead and turn around and just drop back down where we shot up from. And there's a door on the left side from where we were just facing. So you just go through that door. There's um, a couple platforms there with a wall you can force push. Go ahead and just push that out. And there's going to be a force echo behind this pillar, which is directly across from the lift on the side over there. And this is actually the ice caves part of the map. What? After you grab the force echo, we'll go ahead and head down this ice slide. And we'll kind of dive deeper into the ice caves and get some of those collectibles knocked out. 
Okay, so we just want to keep sliding down the ice caves itself. Um, I did a bit of a fail, so I just edited that out so I don't uh, make the video any longer than it needs to be. Um, again, these are in kind of an efficient order, so that way we can just follow a straight line and get all the collectibles knocked out. Um, so we'll just keep sliding down this ice slide until you get to a wall run. And it's got a big gust of wind there, too, to kind of launch you to the rope. And you'll actually see a meditation circle as well, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're standing at. So we're in the ice caves. From that meditation circle, you just want to jump down. And, uh, yeah, I just killed that guy really quick because he happened to spawn in. And I will open this chest here. And this is just right below that meditation circle. Okay, after you've grabbed this chest, we'll make our way back up towards the circle. And this is where that big kind of, I don't know what you want to call it. It has a name. He jumps out of the ice cave. Um, and there's actually a force echo where he jumps out from. So we'll go ahead and climb up there with the double jump and grab another force echo. All right, so after you've grabbed this force echo, we'll go out of the cave and we will kind of go towards the left here where you can cut that shortcut rope and we'll just drop down and we're gonna go straight across you'll see that lift there in the background where we're running towards be a couple stormtroopers here I believe there was two of them let's knock those guys out okay you'll come to a wall running segment And then just keep climbing upwards, up the mountain, and you'll find another wall run into a gust of air that launches you up into another wall run. Okay, then you'll make it to this platform here, and again, a couple more wall runs, and we're nearly there, and the gust of wind should launch you into this room. And we have two chests in this room, and we also have a four echo, so it's nice when they have a couple of the collectibles all in one spot. What is it? There was two enemies here as well, if I'm not mistaken, so just knock them out and then get these two chests and the Force Echo. The Force Echo is actually just over here sitting on this table, so we'll go ahead and quickly grab that. That's an excellent and once you grab the Force Echo, we can just go ahead and leave this room through that door right there. So we'll head out the room, go past the meditation circle again just for a reference and sort of where that shortcut rope was again but this time instead of going down to the right we're gonna go ahead and go to the left you'll see these turning blades here or gears you just want to slow them down get to the wall running segment there and then jump across and the chest is actually just gonna be right up top here so slice it open and get it open and that'll be another chest collected. Okay, after you've grabbed that chest, now what we're going to do is head into this lift. Um, I'll kind of open my map here in a second and show you sort of what we're looking at. Okay, so just to show you real quick, the lift's going up and we're going to make our way through the level. Um, I just sped this part up just to make it a bit quicker. But you want to go through the lift, and once you make it to the top of the lift, we'll head straight past this meditation circle and go to the right, and you'll find yet another force echo. Okay, guys, after you've grabbed that force echo, we're going to go ahead and backtrack a little bit and go down another ice slide. Alright, so just proceed down the ice slide, and we're going to get a few more collectibles here in the ice caves, but we're nearly finished with ice caves. We'll kind of head back towards where the gears are at, as you can see them in the background. Kind of give you a little bit of a view as a reference point, and then we'll jump up this cable shortcut, and we'll skip that guy, 
And to the right, you'll actually see two vines that you can force grip. So you want to double jump, use force grip, and then do the same thing again and force grip. And we're going to find a gold chest for yet another stim upgrade. Go ahead and open the chest, get the stim upgrade. And that'll be our final collectible in the ice caves. All right, after you've grabbed the golden chest, we're going to kind of backtrack over those force pool vines. And we're going to go to the windswept ruins. Now, there's going to be a lift sort of by this meditation circle. And that's the one we're going to want to end up taking. So we'll jump back into another lift. And I've already sped that up for you guys again. Just to kind of show you where the map is. Um, we're going up here. And then that'll tie into the windswept ruins. And again, this is all an all-in-one guide. So I'm showing you how to get to each area and we're also taking the, the the quickest ways to get to those areas that way you can basically um, just get these knocked out as quick as possible so once you get to the lift um, the top of the lift rather we'll jump back through this kind of area we force pushed and we'll be in the windswept ruins which is full of these air vents um, lots of collectibles there's also some stormtroopers there but we'll head straight down and go here to get a, another force echo. <laughs> they missed again as usual. But uh, we'll go ahead and go to the right side of this area. And you'll find a chest under a platform. And that'll be yet another chest knocked out. So after you grab that chest, we'll keep making our way through the windswept ruins by jumping up here. And there'll be a chest on the top right over there that you can see. Now, to get there, you want to use the vent. I accidentally ran into the wrong one there. And then it messed me up. So, just use this vent here. Launch yourself up. Grab the ledge. And then loot the chest. And we're nearly done with the collectibles and windswept ruins. It's a pretty small area. Um, after you get that chest there... We're actually going to get another seed for the terrarium. And where you want to go is just up on this ledge here. You'll see a little flower. And you want to just scan that. And that'll be a ghillie pod. Okay. After you've grabbed the ghillie pod, yet another seed down. You just want to go ahead and use the air vent to go up to the tomb of Alram. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly, but uh, that's where you want to go. You'll go past the um, meditation circle and activate the switch to take the lift. Fast forward the lift again so we can just get this knocked out. Now once the lift has fully stopped, um, we can proceed to get more collectibles. If you've been using the guide so far and it's been helping you, I do appreciate it. Please uh, smash like if you haven't. And subscribe if you're not a member of the clan. But once the lift actually lands, you're just going to go through this area here where you kind of do that sidle animation. Okay, so the tomb's not too bad. We should be able to knock it out together pretty quick. Um, you just want to proceed past these the exploding cactus things and uh, just go down the slide. Now, once you land in this room, there's actually a couple switches you can activate to make the ball roll around. And you want it to roll around to break this wall. And the wall is actually over here in this corner. So get the ball to slam into it to break it open and you'll find yet another force echo. You can also push the ball if you have the force push, which you should if you're going for the collectibles. So you can do that as well and just slam it into it. Um, after you've done that, just so you know where we're sort of at, we're still in that room, and now you want to actually push the ball into the center of the room. Okay, once you've done that, it's going to raise the platform, and under the platform itself is going to be a force echo. Okay, this force echo is for a, an actual force upgrade, 
And once you've grabbed that, just go ahead and walk out the room and you will find a ledge here that you can climb up just so you know that you're in the right area. You'll pass a couple pots and things like that. And you want to go to this room where the meditation circle's at. Um, once you get up to the meditation circle, you can kind of see that as the reference. And there's that broken wall over there that you can push. But you don't want to go there yet. You kind of want to go through here. Don't fall behind. And you want to go ahead and make a left and start pushing these blocks out of your way. You may have gotten some of these while you were doing the story. And that's completely fine as well. This is just going to kind of backtrack for you then. Knock all the bricks down. And then push it over a bit more. And you can go ahead and grab another Force Echo and a chest. This guardian was destroyed long ago. It's really nice when you can get a few of the collectibles right next to each other because, uh, yeah, this is a big planet. Um, so just just hang in there. We're getting there. We're over halfway now. We're just about halfway. So we'll go ahead and break that wall. And we will make a right immediately after you go through that wall. And you can see that's where we actually originally came from. Because, again, you will see the meditation circle. And from the actual meditation circle, we'll break this wall that's kind of behind it. And you just want to wall run. And then jump yourself up to this grate and climb the grate. And when you get to the top here, there's going to be a rope. Just go ahead and grab the rope and climb onto the ledge here or the wall. And sort of make your way towards the top up here for yet another force echo to collect. was deliberately destroyed you can still feel the hate okay we've knocked out another force echo so after that just drop down you can safely do that and you'll be at the meditation circle again but we will go ahead and just head straight um, I didn't clear the guardian there that's all right we'll just jump past him um, and you probably do want to kill him if he's alive on yours because it wouldn't let me scan here so I kind of had to run away for a second and then it let me finally scan. So, because it, it assumed that I was in combat still. And there you go. Now BD will let me scan it. My friend. That'll be another BD log knocked out for you. From that exact area, we'll just jump across. And there's going to be that wall that you can climb here. And then the actual lift part that you can climb. So keep climbing up. And then go ahead and double jump and grab the ledge here. And we'll make our way down. It's a little bit of a slide. Now what you want to do is grab this rope here. And if you turn it left, you can see a chest off in the distance and yet another rope to grab. So grab this next rope. And then another rope. And then you'll be at the chest. It was not giving me the prompt because BD was trying to make me scan. BD doesn't understand. I'm trying to get collectibles. All right, so after you grab this chest, you can just jump back to the ropes. And we're going to go back towards that first rope we initially landed on. And then you just want to go forward to where the wall run is. Which I don't even need. So we just made it across. We'll go back up this room here through the hallway. And you just want to jump kind of where I jump. So that way the air blows you and you still land on the platform. Um, so just make your way through it just like that. You can kind of hop over those vents. That's fine. And wall run there. Now there's going to be the gust of wind blowing you forward so you can just launch that forward keep progressing through the level there may be a guardian there for you but just knock him out and then you want to force push the actual uh, plant into the wall there to explode that and get a force echo I think they're called 
skunkus or something. I, I can't remember, but they're those plants. Just just smash them into the wall. It'll blow up. You'll get a four psycho, and we'll be that much closer to finishing this planet. Um, use the air vent to go up and do another kind of sidle animation here. And once you go through that little animation, you want to go left. And it's going to all look familiar because we've been down this hallway at least twice before. Um, there's a little bit of backtracking in the tomb, but it's all right. We're getting through it. So there's the meditation circle on my right side. You can just keep going forward. Okay, so we're nearly finished with the tomb. There's only a force echo and a chest. You'll come across this ball here. Um, you want to push it out of the center. And as you can see here, when you pull it out, that lift over there is going down. And then when you push it back in, it's going up. Well, you want to go ahead and freeze it. And then keep freezing it, jump over to the ledge, and then you can just let time stop. Or resume, rather, and then it can just fall down and fall in place and then bring you up to this kind of hidden area and there's going to be another chest and then immediately after this chest if you just jump over to the left here and climb the ledge there'll be another force echo okay grab that force echo and now we're going to head to the imperial headquarters and the quickest way to get there is going down this ice slide and climbing up this ledge over here or these these wall climbs whatever you'd like to call them go ahead and climb to the very top okay once you've gotten to the top there's going to be that wall that you can kind of force push out of the way there and squeeze in to get onto the lift again now i'll speed this part up for you but as you can see here's the map it's just going to take us straight back up to the top where the windswept ruins are but then we're going to make our way to the actual Imperial Headquarters because we need to get the uh, Imperial Headquarters collectibles. So we'll make our way there. Once the lift has stopped, you'll go past the Meditation Circle. And we're backtracking through the Windswept Ruins. Again, if the guide's been helping you, please like or even just share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're not a member yet, subscribe become a member of the clan it's very much appreciated either way thanks for for your time watching the guide and we'll just keep going on with it so you want to use the air vents here to um, get back up to the top where this meditation circle is and from here there's going to be a path that you can jump up and another air vent that'll boost you over and then you'll be in this area here with another air sli uh, ice slide rather sorry and um, we'll slide back down, and we're nearly at the Imperial Headquarters. So from here, this was at the bottom of the ice slide, just kind of a quick reference point where that shortcut rope is. And there's that chest in that small room there, just so you kind of know where we're at. And we'll head forward through this cave. And we are actually in Imperial Headquarters on the map now. Immediately to the left of that cave is actually going to be a force echo. So go ahead and pick that up. Okay, once you grab that force echo, keep going straight through the actual doorways for the headquarters itself. And on the right side, there's a meditation circle. But more importantly, in the same room is another force echo. Do not concern yourself with a missing artifact. Okay, after you've grabbed that force echo in that room, exit the room and there'll be a lift on the right side of that room. It's a pretty short lift, so just take the lift up. Okay, turn around, there'll be a door directly in front of you. And a room that has one of those red barriers. So wall run across. And we're going to work on basically deactivating that barrier here in a second. But more importantly, there's the rope and another force echo. And if you want to deactivate that, all you have to do is get BD to um, overcharge it with his ability. Okay, after you've grabbed the force echo, you can go through where that barrier was. And we're basically exiting where we came from. 
Okay, and you see the lift directly in front of us, but you want to actually go right and go past this fan type area. You'll see a bridge you can force pull down to you, and then this little area that you can climb. Now climb up that, freeze this fan here, jump through that uh, fan itself, and then down below, kind of see where we're at here, is another chest. That one's hidden up, up top in that area, basically. Okay, after you've grabbed that, you're more than welcome to just drop right down. And we can freeze this fan and run through it. And we'll go out this doorway here. Keep going straight. All the way straight. And go left where there's that lift. So don't actually take the lift, we're going to just go left. You'll be outside of the headquarters, which has... Um, a couple wall runs and things like that, and even a, a stormtrooper in the way. But we'll just go ahead and knock him out real quick. And you'll see some ropes right ahead. Quickly show you on the map. Okay, so go ahead and take these ropes. There'll be another wall run. And actually a few more wall runs. So we're just going to keep going on the side of the headquarters. Okay, you'll actually see um, another lift here in a moment. But we want to actually get the chest that's near the tree branches over here. It's kind of hidden in the back. Okay, so after you've grabbed the chest here by the tree branches, the next area we'll head to is, it's not too far. But we're basically going to the crash site, as you can see in the top left. So we'll head over pretty much where we came from originally, doing all the wall runs. And there's going to be more of the wall runs. We're just basically backtracking at this point to get to the crash site. Okay, once you're back in the headquarters, just make a right. Let's move, BD. Continue straight through. Go back up the stairway, through the door. We'll be back in that fan room where we were just at a moment ago. Freeze the fan and go through this uh, sort of vent there. Okay, after the vent, just climb through that door. We'll be back to where that red barrier was. And you can either wall run there or just use the rope again. And we're going to the crash site here in a moment. We'll just force push this wall and then there'll be a slide here for you. You're going to go past a meditation circle again as well. So as you can see, that's the crash site. There's quite a fair bit of chests here, um, but thankfully they're really easy to grab. So some nice easy collectibles. We'll go up this side of the mountain first and grab a Force Echo. It's kind of near this, uh, I guess it's sort of like a memorial for uh, some of the stormtroopers. You'll see the, the helmets in the actual stone. And then immediately from there you just want to go backwards through this sort of uh, underground cave and there'll be another force echo just to your left. This tunnel flooded suddenly. What could have caused such a thing? Okay, after you've grabbed both of those force echoes, we will basically turn around and go back where we came from so that we can get the rest of the crash site collectibles. Now from here, you just wanna go jump back in the water and swim over to where that uh, ship is actually crashed. Okay, you can run past all these. I accidentally left one guy alive, but that's all right. And towards the back of this platform here is actually a plant that we can scan. Um, I had to kill him in order to do that, so quickly killed him, and we scanned the Dreamwort plant. 
So it's just this little flower right here towards the back of the crash site. So make sure you grab it. After that, we can jump over to the platform towards the back. And there'll be a chest right here that we can open. A lot of the other chests are actually underwater, so we have to do a little bit of swimming here. There's something in there. But I've grabbed them in a pretty good order for you guys to just kind of go around and just collect them all. Okay, so once you grab that chest, backtrack sort of where that flower was. And near that crashed ship is actually a rope that we can climb. Go ahead and climb that rope. And you'll be in a room with a couple of those pulverizers again that you can slow down. And you want to slow them down so that way you can use them as platforms. You may have to activate them originally with BD. Um, but just freeze them and just keep jumping over to them. If you need to buy yourself some more time, you can actually jump and point down at it and, and keep freezing it until you buy yourself enough time for them to come back and then you can jump over and grab the force echo. That's actually going to be a life essence force echo. And once you've grabbed that, we can go ahead and exit this area. Just don't be bad like me and get hit. Okay, once you've done that, freeze them, keep going out. Alright, and we're back where the rope was originally at. And we'll just keep going forward, past that plant again. That Okay, we'll head towards the back. It's actually sort of where we grabbed that chest back here. But um, now we're going to go ahead and start grabbing the underwater chest. So towards the back of this area, you want to just swim down. And you'll find a chest underwater towards the back of the wall. Go ahead and open that, and we'll just kind of make a path around the water itself to collect all of the chests that are underwater, because there's quite a few. Um, but thankfully, they're nice and easy. So we'll swim back around and just follow exactly where I'm at. I've kind of went out just so you can see where we're at. And we can head sort of back to where that plant was that we scanned. Um, over here in this body of water is going to be another chest. So we'll just dive on down and it should be up against the wall as well. You can see it off in the distance there. Okay, after you've done that, just immediately turn around and just keep swimming to the right. Go around this side of the mountain here or that wall there and you'll kind of be in the center of the crash site. You can kind of see there and there's that meditation circle in the background. But there's this chest right here that's in the center underwater and there's one on the opposite side of here as well. So there's two, two nice and easy chests just right next to each other. So you can just swim around here until you make it to the opposite side. And then there's yet again another chest right there. All right, from here, there's going to be a chest just straight across. It's actually under where the meditation circle is. Bit of an underwater cave with the chest in the very back of the cave. Okay, BD, what is it? Okay, after you've grabbed the one in the cave, just swim back out and kind of hug the left side of the wall there. And I'll come out just so you can see. Make things a little bit easier. We'll swim across here. We're going to grab a chest that's actually not underwater. So you climb up the grates here and go to your right where there's a bit of a wall run and a double jump gap. So double jump over, do a wall run, and you grab another chest. And then immediately below this chest, yep, in that go. body of water, will be another chest. See what you found. So nice, easy collectibles right here. You just fall off the ledge, 
dive under and it's just in this little underwater cave as well just at the back all right so that was our final collectible in the crash site area we're gonna head to the broken wing area now and I'll show you how to get there as I do this will just be one continuous run like we've been doing jump out of the water and climb up to this ledge that we were just on a moment ago and you'll need to use BD to actually deactivate a barrier here and then you can go through this uh, kind of squeeze through area in the broken wing and once you're through that climb up the staircase go all the way around and you'll find another squeeze through area you want to drop down and go to your left and force pull or push that open cut through some cables with your lightsaber um, I didn't realize those were right there so I accidentally swung at them you just want to force push them or actually run or jump over it sorry um, so yeah just watch out for those drop down into this room you'll find quite a bit more of those plants and um, what we'll do is go over through this doorway you'll find more of those plants again that you can just kind of walk through and ignore and what you want to do is dive into this body of water right after those plants and you'll find yet another chest we don't have too much left guys uh, with the actual overall planet guide so just bear with me we're getting through it and I know you're sick of hearing my voice as much as I am so we'll go ahead and swim back to the top of this body of water and grab onto the pipe that's just directly above us make our way across Okay, so you'll enter this room here with an overcharge panel, and you want to actually make that wheel on the left um, stop at an angle, so that way you can use it as a platform, and then just go ahead and jump over to it, and then you can climb up and grab the force echo that's hidden up in the top of that area. We're hit. Brace yourself. Now, once you grab that force echo. Make our way out of that area and directly across. Okay, you just want to make sure that you have that electricity going from BD to get this door to open and then to take the lift up top to where you'll find another force echo just right on top here. And you can use BD to activate the fan blade over there so that way you can exit um, the area. Okay, now that we've finished the broken wing area, we can go to the Venator wreckage area and you want to just slow down the fan so that you can use it as a platform so we can backtrack and get out of the broken wing area and I'll show you how to get, actually get to the Venator wreckage area so we'll go back down the staircase and through that other squeeze through area that we went through before okay just head straight down and kind of go towards the center of the crash site. So we're going through the crash site to get to Venator Wreckage. And you'll notice this grate over here that you can actually climb. You just want to double jump over to it and start climbing up to the top. Keep climbing up and up until you get to the very top and it's just one giant slide okay go ahead and start the slide uh, segment and you just want to watch out for the tubes that have electricity going through them keep making your way down just dodging the electricity and, and things like that you'll come across stuff you have to force push like that wall that I just went through so make sure you force push that. And there'll be another force push right here. Move all that out of your way and you'll land into the actual Venator wreckage. Now, we're gonna swim directly forward. 
and I'll quickly show you a pretty good reference point in a second. Past these dead stormtroopers that are in the water, we're going to find a, another meditation circle. Okay, so from this meditation circle here, we're going to get our next collectible. It's actually at the back of the wall over here. So jump into the water and start swimming towards the very back. And you'll find a chest next to some dead stormtroopers. Hey, BD, what's this? What is it, BD? All right, after you've grabbed that chest, we can make our way back to the meditation circle area. So just swim back. And these ropes I have here are actually shortcuts that you unlock once you go through the area itself. Um, so you may not have those, but you won't need them because I'm showing you where to go. So climb up from where the meditation circle is until you get up to this platform here. And this will be another force echo next to a few more dead stormtroopers. He was looking for his master and the clone commander. He didn't know they turned. Okay, after you grab the force echo, just turn directly around and start climbing the wall behind it. I don't really like this area, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, but it's thankfully not too bad for the collectibles. You get them knocked out pretty quick. Um, we'll jump over to this wall here. And start climbing up. It's a little bit dodgy because you're kind of on a lean. And I noticed the game doesn't like that too much. So I nearly almost kind of fell there. But yeah, just make your way across. Go over the pipe here. And then onto the wall run. There'll be another pipe hanging off the edge here, and you'll see a rotating fan, or a fan that you can even slow down. And you want to actually just stop it to the point where you can go across here, and watch out for the electricity. Some really good particle effects right there, though. It looks fantastic. And uh, just freeze the fan here, and grab the force echo that's within here. And I didn't realize this little bastard was going to pop out, so just kill him. And uh, grab your Force Echo yeah, if you haven't. I'm okay. After you've grabbed the Force Echo, we'll freeze the fan and exit this area. And there's going to be a door up ahead that you can actually open. So just open this doorway. And we'll head directly across. There'll be a few uh, Stormtroopers here. Just take them out. And keep going forward until you wrap around where there's more of these metal grates. Start climbing it. You just want to make your way to the very top. So then that way you can shimmy over to this platform here. There's also a shortcut rope that you can cut down at this spot if you haven't been here yet. But we want to go straight past that and grab these force rope pulls. And when you grab the second one, you actually want to turn left because you can see a force echo up on a ledge. And you want to swing back and forth, get enough momentum, and then pick up that force echo off the dead stormtrooper. That was actually a force upgrade as well, which is always good. And it was also a secret. Okay, after you've grabbed that one, we can just jump back and force pull that rope in front of us. And you're going to see a small little doorway over here. Just readjust yourself and jump through with the double jump. And then you can cut through these wires here. I do something pretty badass right here if I do say so myself. I do a wall run, launch his rocket back at him and blew that guy to shit. Um, go ahead and jump up the wall and then I like stuffed it up completely that was not epic at all so just climb up the wall and you'll be on the platform where the RPG stormtrooper was at and with this wall run here you just want to avoid the electricity so just do it at the last possible minute 
Okay, and then with the power of editing, I basically one-shot these guys. And then we'll just keep going forward. Make a left. And there'll be a rope you can climb up. Okay, there'll be a rope you can climb up, which I'll just speed through. You just want to climb to the very top. And then once you're up there, jump off. And you'll actually see a meditation circle. That way you know you're in the right spot. And just go past it. Use your lightsaber to cut the wires. And you'll see a force echo next to a dead stormtrooper here. Now we're basically done with the Venator wreckage. There's four collectibles left but they're pretty amazing there's actually i think six left and um the good thing is they're all right here so they have done us a little bit of a favor here and put three chests right next to each other as well as a force echo so it's it's pretty nice all you want to do is just jump over here do the wall run and try and grab this ledge here. That way you don't have to worry about moving the thing itself. You can easily make that jump. And then you'll go through here to where there's a bunch of stormtroopers the first time. Just knock them out and pick up the force echo in the middle. And you'll be surrounded by three chests. I'm sorry, Master. So I'll just quickly go through and open all the chests. Kind of nice after doing an area like that that they just uh, gave you... A decent amount of collectibles all in one spot so we're just going through opening all the chests here that's our second chest just grabbed a force echo when we walked in and here's our third chest so in this room here just make sure you grab three total chests and a force echo before you leave that way we know you have grabbed everything now you'll just go out to your left and immediately there'll be another chest and it's a gold chest so we'll get another stim upgrade. Good catch, BD. This is really going to help us. So BD's going to be the MVP and give us another stim. And immediately below is our last force echo for the Venator wreckage area. So that area wasn't too bad. We were able to just get through it pretty quick. We have roughly about 19 minutes left. So we're, we're almost finished with the guide. If you stuck through it this long, I do appreciate it. But let's continue finalizing this planet and getting everything 100%. So from this force echo, immediately to your right is a zip line that you need to bring over with BD's overcharge ability. And we'll be going straight down and onto a lift. Okay, now you know your boys got you covered with that speed boost magic of editing while we're on the lift. All right, then you'll end up in the Imperial Dig site. And um, basically, you'll just go past this meditation circle and up this zip line. There'll be a wall run with another zip line. And you'll be on a bridge with uh, quite a few stormtroopers and things like that on them. Once you land on the bridge, just head through the doorway directly across. And then you want to make a right at that fork and push that wall open. You'll see a red barrier here that you can um, get BD to overcharge and, and disable. But there's also a force echo right here on a dead stormtrooper. So make sure you grab that force echo. And now what we'll do is we'll run back up where we came from originally. But this time we're going on the left path. Okay. There will be another barrier right here that you can disable with BD. And then you want to just use the wall run and get up onto this ledge to find another force echo. A worker left their tools in a hurry. They were okay. After you've grabbed that force echo there. You want to jump down to your right outside of that doorway and there'll be a zip line you can ride up that has a wall run. Grab onto the rope and then don't swing off of it yet. Turn it around and jump behind you to grab a force echo. And we're near nearly done with the dig side itself. My men will double their efforts. We'll get inside, Officer Crane. 
after you've grabbed that force echo you can go ahead and jump back onto the rope and make your way across the ledge over here and grab onto the vine wall and you'll see a meditation circle just so you kind of know where we're at now this next collectible is a little bit tricky but you want to use this rope to jump back and we're doing a little bit of backtracking here but this next collectible again it's a little tricky because you want to ride up a zip line and you want to basically press circle to jump off that zip line a bit early so once you come out this doorway here you'll see the zip line i'm talking about now all you have to do is just hit circle early and then use your double jump to land on there um it's actually pretty easy if you just do circle earlier because you have enough jumps to kind of make up for that distance you'll find a force echo in here though and again you'll also find a gold chest which will be another stim upgrade and this will also be the end of this area and we'll be on to our last area and then we can finally finish zepho i'm sure everyone's sick of zepho probably hearing my voice but um we're nearly finished Now, after you've grabbed that stim upgrade from this uh, kind of secret room up here, there's a nice way we can get back to the tomb pretty easy. And you want to jump back over to the zip line that we just went up. And you should have this shortcut lift unlocked here. Now, if you don't, for whatever reason, if you never unlocked it, you do have to go around by going up this way and then all the way around and through there. I know that wasn't like the best example of where you would go, but yeah, realistically, you're going to have to go around, unfortunately. But this will lead you back over here. Okay. The reason I left this one for last is because I felt like it was more convenient for everyone. And it's not exactly a fun area. But I've sped all this up so we can just get through it. You want to take the lift all the way down. And we'll be in the Tomb of Mictral. Probably not even pronouncing that right, but that's okay. So once you get down in here, you'll see this sphere here. And you can use that as a reference point of where I'm going. And you want to go to the right where you can break this wall. And there will actually be a wall here that BD can scan. So make sure you scan that for another data log. My friend, these devices appear to simulate... Now once you've got that scanned, just proceed up the stairway and you'll pass a meditation circle as well and you want to just grab onto the vine wall make your way up to the top and go left down this little slope and across the bridge where you'll find a guardian at the end um, but you'll also find a force echo and another chest a relic from the ancient Zepho. grab the force the echo open the chest And then we'll backtrack over the bridge that we ran on and make our way up the slope that we went down, which is to the right of this area. And then we'll go right through this doorway here and puts us in this kind of center room. And you'll see a little vine wall to the right. You just want to jump up there and grab onto it and just make your way to the left side of this platform and you'll find a wall that you can force push. Go ahead and open the chest that's inside. And there's also going to be something that BD can scan right next to the chest. So immediately after that, just go ahead and have him quickly scan the wall for another one of BD's data logs. My friend, what I found here is disconcerting. Okay, guys, after you've finished that, you've scanned the area and you've grabbed the chest just want to go to the right side and force push that wall down if it's not already grab that uh, sort of switch there and pull it over to the thing to hold the gate open and you're gonna find a vine wall on the back side of this doorway and you want to make your way to the branch that's on the right side and use the branch as kind of a platform to make it over to the force echo Once you grab the Force Echo, that's going to be another Force uh, upgrade. And you can just jump right back down. And we're going directly across from where we were just at. 
and you'll see some vines right here and all you need to do is force pull one of those fire type candles to the vines burn it down and grab another force echo this was lit as a sign of all right so after you've grabbed that force echo and exit that little uh, alcove or whatever you'd like to call it head back to the central area and you're going to jump on top of this ledge here and we'll just make our way through this part and you'll see a wall right here that you can climb now you just want to climb up this wall and force grip these vines over here and do that again readjust yourself a little bit and make it up onto this ledge here okay so once you've done that we can work our way to our next collectible down this slide okay after you go down the slide you just want to turn around immediately and you'll find another rope to force pull and do a wall run over now, I accidentally grabbed this uh, Force Echo, but it's just inside of this pot, and it's called Offerings of Mictral. So make sure you grab it. I went to target an enemy when I was going through the story, and sure enough, I accidentally grabbed it. So just please make sure you grab that one, and I do apologize for that. Then we'll head back up these stairs. All right, after you go up the stairs, go past the meditation circle again and climb up the vine wall. We'll be back in the central area, and you just want to go back up on that ledge we were at originally. Okay, so this is right around the wall that we climbed up, but instead of going up, you want to go forward where you see a chest behind some vines, and then make a left down this path, and you'll actually see a wall run segment right here. And then we'll go right and you'll find two vines to swing across. Go ahead and just swing and grab the vine wall on the rock itself. Okay, once you've done that, you can avoid these guys here or I launched that one at him because I didn't realize he was still alive. And there'll be another vine wall to climb, so just quickly climb up that. Okay, so you'll be in this kind of big open area that has those uh, platforms that get magnetized to the center. And by doing that, you just activate these switches. So that'll pull them in. Just avoid getting hit by those plants. And climb the vine wall that's around the actual ledge. There's still a stormtrooper I had to kill, so I just quickly killed him. And we made our way across here. And there'll be a wall run into a vine wall climb. And you'll find a switch up here to make those go back outwards. And then we can use the vines to climb across again. Jump over to the platform. You'll go past a couple branches and whatnot. Um, I believe there was a stormtrooper here that jumped me as well. But, um, yeah, he can just be gone. And then we jump over and activate the switch again. But before we do that, actually, you can um, launch the plant over to a wall behind you and grab another Force Echo. So that'll be yet another Force Echo. And again, just smash that plant into the wall and it'll break it. Once you've grabbed that one, you can activate the switch, which I've done, and then activate it again as it's like that. So you can quickly run to the vines and just latch onto them. Okay, then double jump over the gap and climb this vine wall. Once you've done that, you'll run into a wall running segment. So wall run, platform jumping, and running on the wall again into another vine wall. 
Okay, climb up the vine wall. And another vine wall itself. Go up that one as well. Okay, this next chest that we're going to get is that chest that's um, covered by those dried out vines over there. And what you need to do is actually grab the fire from right here. And you can activate that switch too to just make them magnetize to the wall. But that's how I did it. It might take you a couple tries, but eventually you'll smack it and it'll be caught on fire. Um, you can't force pull the rope from there like I tried and miserably failed. Okay, so you just want to jump down from this bridge and go around the side so you can grab the chest that we just um, cleared those vines for. Yep, there you go. Okay, so after you open that chest um, that we cleared the vines for, I'm just going to cut the angle really quick, but this is just to the left of that. Um, you want to wall run and force pull the vine to you to get the force echo that's in the back of this cave. And again, this is directly left of the chest that we just opened. These are the remains of his So now I'll cut back to the chest part. And what we can do from here is backtrack a little bit and go up this wall. And we're going to get our last bit of collectibles. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And I hope you liked it and I hope it helped. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Now, if you force pull the vines right here, facing the way you need to, you can get enough momentum to cross that, that bridge there. And there'll be a couple more force pull vines that we need to swing over. Okay, you'll see a lot of these dried out vines that we need to burn. And to the left of this platform, you can see the candles. Go ahead and launch one at the vines right there to burn the path. And it'll open a doorway over here that we can go in. And you want to swing across to grab more of the um, candles and launch it across to the vines that are there to unlock a switch. And then you just want to go over and press that switch, which um, it's basically going to open the mouth of the doorway over here. And then you want to try to launch a candle through that doorway. Um, I didn't get it my first try, but I did get it my second, so Kobe. But anyways, once you actually shoot it through there, you'll burn down those vines and get the last collectible. I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope the guide did help. Uh, if you haven't yet, smash like, subscribe, and join the clan. And go ahead and leave a comment for me because I reply to all of them. I'll catch you in the next one.